What's up legends? It's your boy Kavolt here. Now for this video, I felt as though it would be a great time to talk about my top five, my top five favorite gun sets. Now this, uh, this list may differ from what you use personally, but this five right here is what helped me win so many games, so many montages, 10, 13 plus kills a game. I originally got the idea from a couple friends I was playing a game with and a lot of them are newer to the game, so they don't know which guns to use. So I felt, why not? use my opinion my thoughts and like my experience of this game and maybe you guys can use this top five gun set in your own gameplay and maybe it might help increase your wins your kills overall fun in the game so without any further ado let's get right into the video please be sure to like comment and subscribe to the channel i really appreciate those it really goes a long way especially the likes i love likes i love likes more than subscribes not gonna lie to you because if you don't like the video why would you subscribe so first up, we have the Longbow and the Devotion. Now, this is a newer mix-up. I've started using it, and it's phenomenal. I think it's well-balanced because you have... Okay, you have the long shot right here, Longbow. Shots are amazing. You get a clear headshot. That's all it takes. I mean, it's risky to have the Longbow, I'm not going to lie. Mid to long range is, is best, honestly. But then you can switch over to the Devotion, right? And the devotion just it just sinks okay so honestly i i believe this is a well balanced number five i think that for a lot of people starting out you might want to try this because the, if you can master the longbow you're good because you can land shots boom break shield go in with the devotion and then just laser people that's all it takes so some of the cons to this number five weapon set between the devotion and longbow is the time between shots okay look at the longbow you know when you shoot the longbow boom it takes it takes a little bit to get the next shot across so you have to make sure that your shots are consistent and they're doing damage with the what you want to do with this is when you shoot you want to make sure those shots hit so it puts pressure on the enemies and another problem is with the devotion it takes a couple seconds for the shots to start going through but other than that i think this is a well balanced set to use it's pretty good I just started using it. I've won a couple games with it already. So I recommend this one as my number five. Coming at number four, we have the R301 and the Spitfire. Now, I use this primarily for crowd control. This is amazing for fighting off large teams showing up. Then I'm talking about third parties. I'm talking about everybody's on the map showing up. Because you go in, this is what I do personally. I'll start off with the R301. Boom. Whole clip, break shield. Then I'll go in and mow them down with a Spitfire. Because the Spitfire is more forgiving with his shots. It's just that I don't think that the shots register as much with the Spitfire. So that's why it's not used as much in my top five anymore. But you go in, R301, let that sing. The only thing with the R301 is the magazine clip isn't that strong. And I, f I feel as though with the R301, the extended clip, it still, it still isn't enough. I feel like the shots just aren't enough. Some of the cons to using this setup is that... If you don't get the shield broken, it comes right down to the Spitfire, okay? I've actually clutched a couple solo games with this set. Because, honestly, it feels like you're not just by yourself. You feel like you're one-man army. Because <laughs> once you start off with the R301, a couple shots full clip, then you go into this, it's right there, a whole bunch of damage DPS. You just gotta watch out for incoming fire. You wanna give out more damage than you're receiving when you're using this set. Alright guys, coming at number 3, we have the R99 and the Peacekeeper combo set. I call this the Quick and Clean. And here's why. So you know the R99, it just, it's, it's a quick shot, breaks shield, you go in, then you switch out with the Peacekeeper. Boom, just like that. It's quick, it's clean, it's effective. You do a lot of damage in a short period of time. The only problem is that when you run out of ammo, it can be an issue. This is best used for one-on-one -on -one fights. I think to really utilize this gun set is to basically, you have to drop on somebody. Right, they're below you. Break shield, go ahead, boom, just like that. Quick and easy. I've seen people use this set, and they go in, and they take out one person, right? Then they try to go to the second. They get probably not the first or second, but then there's a third. You're low on ammo, so you have to reload. And while you're reloading, they're dropping you. You're low on both guns. That's instant death sentence. So they're going to take you out nine times out of ten. What I can recommend is you go in, get the first person, right? Boom, take them out. Then you reload, right? Come back to the fight, take out the second and maybe the third. But you have to be in and out with this gun set. I recommend that's the best way to pull this off. Coming in number two, you already know it had to be that G7 Scout, but it's also the Peacekeeper mix-up. Now, I think this is very reliable. I think people really won't argue with this one. I don't really have a nickname for this one, but I want to call it the best of both worlds because you have the G7 Scout. It's amazing for basically, it's versatile. This gun is probably my favorite gun in the game. You just, 
If you can get consistent headshots, you're breaking any shield. Gold, purple, blue, non-regular, whatever. So let's just say you're in a fight. Now this is good for, I'd say, a team fight. I think this can pull off for a team fight because you're going like this. You break shield with the first person, right? Or the second person. And then maybe the third. And then you go with the Peacekeeper, a couple shots to the body, to the head, and you're knocking whole squads. But I think what makes this gun set stand out the most is the fact that it's versatile, okay? You get the long range, medium to long range right here. And then whenever they get close, you put that fear on them right there, that Peacekeeper. It's perfect. I love it. It's well balanced. The only thing I can say that really just bothers me about this gun set is that, okay, if you can't deliver on the shots with the G7 Scout, let's just say you miss a couple, it comes all the way down to the Peacekeeper. And a peacekeeper isn't always reliable, okay? I've had times where I've just shot people with the peacekeeper and I'm thinking they're not going down. How they're not going down, I'm shooting these people in the head and it's just not consistent. So red flag with the peacekeeper, it's not always reliable. So you gotta make sure that your G7 scout is just singing on people. He just consistent shots just like this. And coming in as my number one, this should be no surprise. I've used this gun set for so many of my montages. And you've seen the action, the hell I've rained on people with this gun set. Right in front of me. Contact. Sending out my decoy. Contact with the Mixed in with the G7 Scout and the Wingman. And if the only thing, this is, I call this the high risk, high reward, okay? You can go in either or, Wingman, G7 Scout. If you can get the consistent shots, and maybe knock if you don't knock you switch to your second gun okay you go in with the wingman boom 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 take shield out maybe knock him down the second gun is for the finishing blow and maybe for the next person showing up because you know it's squads the biggest the biggest problem with this gun set is that if you miss too many shots you're dead so it's good for medium long range and maybe short range with the wingman and g7 scout i don't know i think it's better with the wingman close range because you don't have to aim as much now to be honest guys this this is very tricky okay I wouldn't recommend this for beginners you want to know why because okay you're fighting teams right yeah I'm, I'm assuming you're starting off at a distance and you're picking people off you're shooting them you're shooting them you're shooting them and let's just say you're missing too many shots team other enemy teams are going to notice that you're missing shots so they're going to be more risky to go in and maybe take you out close range so usually i recommend that you keep your distance when using this but if it comes down to it and you're making all your shots shields nothing matters you can just shred easily I've been playing with a couple people and I've been requested when I like in games people are like oh my god you're good with these guns like like what gun sets do you recommend because a lot of people are newer to the game are just coming back and they you know some things have changed but I really like to see like you guys use some of these and let me know if they're effective for you and if they're not maybe some better you know guns to use let me know what variations might be better what do you use to help you win games let me know in the comments I appreciate you guys and thanks for always always watching and as always again I said always twice stay vaulted